Hi guys, this is Takhari. I welcome you to this video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we implemented custom validation in our user registration form. And in this video tutorial, we will go ahead and test our UI for user registration as well as our login method. First thing that we want to do is register a new user. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we go ahead and register our new user, please make sure that you go to your Docker is up and running first thing. Then you start your Kitematic and run the container that has the SQL Server instance installed on it. Because if you are going to register a user, we need to add the user to our SQL database. And if your server is not running, then you cannot communicate with the server. Since I have installed the server on a Docker container, I'm going to start my container. Now my server is up and running. Next thing that we want to do, also go ahead and run our Azure Data Studio. So I'm going to start Azure Data Studio. And now we will connect to our database because we would need to check if we have successfully added a user to the database you can check that by running the sql query now we have connected and here is our database and here are all our tables so now let's go ahead and create a new user let's also open our inspection tab so that we can see the errors that we receive when we make a request. So I'm going to enter some sample data here. I'm not going to use any invalid information here because we have implemented validation and in the last video tutorial we did check trying to enter invalid info and we also don't have a model pop-up up and running. So we can do that when we create the model pop-up to see the errors related to any invalid uh, data that we are sending to the server. For now, just enter valid data to make sure that the user is being created. So the data has been entered, now I'm going to click Submit. And here, I'm seeing a success response in from my call to the register API. And the user has been successfully registered. And if you look at the response that we received, <coughs> it was a 200 response which means it was a success and if we look at the data that was responded back was with the data that we sent to the server that's the user's details that's what the registration method is supposed to do and now let's use this username and try to log in with the password that i created As you see, I was able to log in as well. That means our login and registration method are working fine. Even at I go to the login method and check the response, I received a status code of 200, which is response is OK. Also pay attention to this uh, JWT token that is returned by the server. This is your encoded or encrypted token, which contains your secret key and other values like the token expiration time and you can always decode this token by going to jwt.io website there are tools available for that and you can either google it or you can just go to jwt.io and you can verify that the token that you have received contains the values that you have set in your application now the next thing that we want to test before we end this tutorial 
is to make sure that the user that we created actually exists in our database. So let's go to our Azure Data Studio and then let's see what values we have inside our user table. So let's right click on the ASP.NET user table and then edit the data. As we see here, we have a user whose username is TechHowdy. That's the user that I created or registered in our application and we have the user over here. Don't worry about the email confirmation because in the upcoming video tutorials I will show you how you can set up your SendGrid email server to send confirmation emails to users so that once they have registered they will receive that email and then they can confirm click on the confirmation link which will redirect them to the login page and if they try to log in without confirming their email then they will get a model pop-up message saying that the email has not yet been confirmed. So we will code that functionality that's a part of this project in the upcoming video tutorials. But for now, we have successfully registered a user. That means our login and registration methods are working fine and they're working as they're supposed to work. So if you have any questions, please use the comment section and I'll be happy to answer your questions as soon as possible. Also, please like and subscribe my channel to always get updated and fresh content. Thank you once again. Have a good day.